In this episode, we are going to add the project to Vapor. And for that, we are going to use the Vapor init command. But first, you need to move into the folder of your application and then type Vapor init. When you type Vapor init, the first question you get is the name of your project. And for now, let's stick with my application. Next, Vapor asks you what is the region your project should be placed in. This is a very important decision because you might want to place your project near your customers so they can get faster responses. Let's stick with US East 1. Ok, great. Your project has been created on Vapor. Next, Vapor will ask you to install the Vapor Core package, and here you should say yes. This package contains a service provider that will allow your application to run on Vapor. The package Vapor Core will be pulled using Composer. Ok, cool. Now that we are done on the terminal, let's take a look at the Vapor UI dashboard. In our personal dashboard, we can now see our application. We can also see the region in the connected AWS account. If we click on it, we will see something that we haven't spoke before in this video course. Environments are basically a way of having multiple versions of your application. Each version may contain its own features or its own environment variables. The best example I can give you is, imagine that you are coding a new feature. You probably want to send that feature to staging so your colleagues can test it out before sending that feature to production. In the future, we are going to get a full episode about environments. Next, let me show you another resource created during the creation of the project. When you first create the project in Vapor, and because we don't have any network in this region, Vapor will create a network for us. A network is an AWS VPC. A VPC is a very complicated term, but it's basically a way of keeping secure our resources, such as databases, caches, or jump boxes. If you click on network, you can see multiple details. You can perform as well multiple actions, such as add a NAT gateway or create a load balancer. We are going to talk about all of this in future episodes. In the next episode, we are going to issue our first deployment in on the staging environment. 